God gave man a brain and a willy, and only enough blood to run one at a time. Robin Williams what are some real life examples of this? The fact that autoerotic asphyxiation is a thing, and that multiple people have died from it. First funeral I ever attended was for an 8th grader at our private Catholic school who died from this. What I really want to know is how the duck a kid that young in 1995 small town Val learned about this. Incidentally, Robin Williams did a dark comedy movie where his son dies from autoerotic asphyxiation. World's greatest dad. R.I.P. Michael Hutchinson and David Carradine. My best friend is a firefighter, and he has been to more than one of these calls. It truly is a thing. Robin Williams was literally in a movie about his son dying from autoerotic asphyxiation and Robin Williams fakes his son's suicide note because he's embarrassed, and it becomes a whole thing. I can't remember the name, but it's a pretty good movie. Me choosing between jerking off to prawn and going to sleep. You finish the wank, so you can sleep better. Girl behind the register started flirting with me, blue screened so hard I paid for my groceries, but forgot to take them with me, didn't realize until hours later. That was the girl's plan all along, you got grifted son. Happened to me at an airport. Cute girl selling me a bottle of water. Asked me where I was going, seemed interested. There wasn't anyone else in line, so we chatted a bit. I had to get to my gate so she said, have a good trip, I said you too and didn't realize I left my water at the register until I was boarding the plane that was your subconscious at work. Gave you a second chance. What the duck did I just do? Syndrome. Acapost nut clarity I like the new name for it though, will be using it if you don't mind. The fact that syndrome is capitalized made me think was a quote from the supervillain and made me wonder what I missed in that movie or the classic what did I just freak? Syndrome. The Trojan War. An action which has been condemned by the rest of history. It's funny to say that, but from what I've read, the Greeks were itching to invade Troy. Kidnapping Helen was just the catalyst, much like the assassination of the Duke started WWI. But WWI was fated to start one way or another. A 10 year erection thousands of years before Vagra even. It was like the time I hired that Bangkok prostitute to do my taxes, while I fricked my accountant. John McAfee. Whale fricking. No joke. Each year, on February 1st, in the Marlo K channel, a few men compete in the world's only whale fricking contest. Humpback whales are easy to truck for a second or less. World record. 31 seconds. I competed once. Almost got my ribs crushed. Stick with ostriches. Also John McAfee, June 23rd, 2018 followed with this gem on December 31st, 2018 after months of arguing over animal sexual consent after his whale tweet, enough of the whale freaking is non-consensual bulldoze. A humpback whale weighs 70,000 pounds, is 50 feet long, can dive more than a quarter mile, and can crush ships with a single swipe of its tail. If a human manages to truck one. You damn well better believe it's consensual. This guy lived most of his life thinking with one over the other. Half the comedians in Hollywood cold and come up with something that funny. My first two marriages. F. Agreed. Your marriages were the worst. You know how it's usually a good idea to eat before you go buy groceries? Well that's why I masturbate before going out in a bar. After a certain age you don't want to be wasting erections like that anymore. Holy poop. This is the kind of wisdom I come to Reddit for. Bill Clinton. Until the Lewinsky thing. I thought that oral freak was something involving talking, like sexy story time. I had always wondered why Sir Gala had seemed so excited about it. And Anthony Wynn a former US representative, sexting a minor and Jeffrey Tubin can commentator. Jacking it on a zoom call. I was born in the late 90s. So I didn't live through the actual events and didn't quite grasp how crazy that situation was until I watched the Clinton affair. Would be an understatement to say it was a couple magnitudes worse than I ever understood to that point. Slick Willie was certainly thinking with the wrong head there. Robin Williams cheating on his first wife with I believe his kid's nanny. Oh. So has talking from his personal experience. Isn't it masturbation? If he cheated with Mrs. Dubfire, cocaine is a hell of a drug. Post nut clarity, a pow so strong. 
God had to add a cooldown timer. Nothing like laying up against the wall with the intention to try and milk in your own mouth to see what it's like, and the post nut clarity hits right before your milk and you have time to reflect on how much you regret your decision in that split second. In my day me going back to my bad poop crazy ex, because the frick was incredible. Three different times. Somehow I finally found the testicular fortitude to break the cycle. Edited to say thanks for the awards. College aged. How bad of an idea is this on a scale of 1 to 10? Testicular fortitude. What a phrase. Overthinking during foreplay and losing an erection. Focusing too hard on what I'm doing. Listening and watching for positive or negative cues. Adjusting my own body angle because I'm cramping in the one leg. Trying not to stare again because she gets annoyed when I do. ETC. That's me in the corner. That's me in the spotlight. Losing my erection. Trying to get a chub. And I don't know if I can do it. An old freaking those housekeepers. What was he thinking throwing away his marriage for a little side action? The kid totally looks like Arnold's carbon copy. Look up Bill Burr's segment in one of his stand-ups about this. The basic idea, a guy like Arnold, having lived the kind of life he did, having achieved the things he has, would of course think he can get away with something like that. Same with Bezos having an affair. That poop cost him his wife and 35 billion dollars lol wtf was he thinking. Listen to Bill Burr's bid on this, it's hilarious. Of course he can sleep with the maid. Has hit nothing but net for decades. I've done a lot of stupid things thinking it would end with my dick in some twat. You and almost every other guy on the planet. Including me. Me. Dizzy if I stand on a chair. Deathly afraid of heights. Girl. Let's ride a helicopter with no doors above the New York City skyline. Me. Sure. Right. I had no desire to go to a ducking hot air balloon festival in mid-August Arkansas weather, but I did want to do some ducking. Neither the intercourse or swamp ass were worth it, even if the festival was kinda cool. That's just one of the tame examples. Middle age men blowing up their entire lives for some young strange. My favorite are the guys who drop everything to run off with a teenager. As if that's going to work out. Am Canadian. Dude at my work left his wife and booked a ticket to Sweden because he had been chatting with some teenage girl on the internet. He gets there. Promptly gets rejected. And then gets thrown in jail for stalking. I don't understand this as a woman either. Like. Okay if there's money involved and you're a heartless slut bag then yeah. Makes sense. But when they do it with a dude who has questionable hygiene. Insurmountable debt. Six kids. And considers walking to the mailbox exercise. It confuses me. Why? Why? Why are their standards so low? Princess Diana's husband cheated on her. Beyonce's husband cheated on her. Jennifer Garner's husband cheated on her. Loni Anderson's husband cheated on her. Mariah Shriver's husband cheated on her. Sandra Bullock's husband cheated on her. Vanessa Bryant's husband cheated on her. Evil Angoria's husband cheated on her. Don't forget Jennifer Aniston and Angelina Jolie. The latter one marrying Brad Pitt was not that of a good idea to begin with. If your relationship is the result of an affair. Who do you think you are that you partner who already cheated and left his former GF of many years won't do it again. Moral of the story, you can be at the top of your game. Regarding career and looks, even on top of the world and still not be enough for someone else. Liz Hurley, Hall Barry. Like last week when I thought it would be not only convenient but a good idea to go sleep with the Nipa lady and it turned out she was an actual crazy person that I had to block and now lives on the other side of my living room wall. Don't do swear you sleep or something like that. I dated a girl who lives the next house down from me. She hated that it tell my friends I was in a long distance relationship. I bought her intercourse toy for 25 and proceeded to pay 34 one day shipping. Where tf did you get charged 34 one day shipping? I've absolutely done this. Why am I subscribed to this dumbass subreddit? Sexy people of reddit. How you like relations? I like frick. It's nice. It's summer. It's all horny teens and college kids for the next few months. Gaming while on the phone with a girl. Mean shaft. I'm on a dating platform. And every time I get horny I only decide whether the girl looks beautiful or not. But when I'm not horny I read her complete bo. 
your app has girls who fill their bo? On mine they're mostly just the pictures anyways. A. I'll only get like 2 matches per month anyway. No point reading, when I can just quick swipe, until I hit the app's limit, and put it away for a few days. That's how they, ahem, suck you in. Yeah when I'm horny I swipe right even on fat chicks. But when I'm lazy, or disenchanted I swipe right on everyone. I have more important crap to do, if I'm sad is the only time I'm picky. Morning wood. Your wood is energetic, but your brain is tired. Simple. Mine is usually because I have to take a piss so bad, unless I had a good relations dream. Blood, well, seems I'm not needed here. Let's go somewhere more fun. IDK man. Wake up into course is pretty good, when you have to learn to piss. Doing a handstand. And then when you get older it's just morning wood. The brain is tired exactly because the wood is energetic. Link. I just saw the link Earl, and can already tell my man's regretted it when his tip went zoom. Dude actually did it honestly I thought about something like that when I was a young teenager, but I had seen it go horribly wrong on a movie or TV show with a vacuum and thought it would rip my dick off. Plus I doubt doing something like that would even feel good I mean it's just hard plastic and a suction feeling would probably hurt after a while, but I've never done it so maybe someone more adventurous can chime in. Florida always delivers. It's where Florida boy becomes Florida man. Florida. That web bitch is so freaking annoying. There's like 5 ads. One covers the screen, and makes the X small and the X is placed right over the subscribe button. Reminds me of that scene in Nia Zip with Max sitting on the pool suction. Zach Galifianakis out cold. Way funnier to see. At least it wasn't his asshole. That's not something I wanted to read today. Was this you? Nice as always. Florida man. Haunted vibes. To be fair he got to be known as swimmer, and not pool fecker. That captain who crashed a mega yacht showing off for some chick on the bridge. Millions of dollars. Boats in hoss. You mean the 600 million cruise ship? Costa Concordia? I thought he was sailing too close to show off to some other captain that lived in that area, or was it found to be something else? Thanks internet historian. This is how the Suez Canal thing happened isn't it? Not just millions of dollars, but also 32 dead people though. Imagine being the person being showed off to and watching the yacht crash. Would that be a confidence boost or guilt? Who killed people and is now is jail in the closet he gets to getting any is when has Bob's biatch. The Costa Concordia. Strip clubs. And paying for relations. Strip clubs went to a strip club once. Bachelor party. It was stupid. Everybody got all worked up. Then we went back to the bachelor's pad and hung out with our blue balls. I said to the group. Alright. After all that. What I wanna know is which one of you is giving me some ass. Nobody volunteered. It was stupid. If you just want some frick. Paying for it is probably one of the simpler ways to get it. Jonah Falcon's dick is so big that he claims he can't achieve an erection without feeling lithated. Opposite for me. The size of my brain is so small. I have a constant erection. One time I had a job interview and it was one of those few times in life that I decided to get serious so I prepared myself for real to nail the interview. All the blood was in my brain while I waited to be called in. Then when I entered there was this woman who, I swear to Cleopatra, was the cutest looking woman with a huge chest. Then the blood went to pen 15 and I don't even know how it happened, but I let out a yes. Just stared right at her with my mouth open and almost exhaled it out. Like a hiss, she immediately said, excuse me, and then I became so conscious that I mumbled a nothing and lost all my confidence to do well in the interview. What the frick? That's why I stick with the classic eyes bulging out as I go a wooga. Every guy who talks to a girl, then immediately regrets everything he said after he jacks off. How the truck do I delete those messages? We have all had that. Bang that you're like damn I really don't like you at all. As soon as you finish, like it's most instant. You go meet up with that Tinder date and immediately following that activity you are like a holy muck what did I do? Oh my god I did this last night. I went back to the messages this morning and cringed so hard. I feel bad lmeo. Look at the female salespeople that get sent to your company for evidence. Pharmaceutical reps are so beautiful and have such great people skills. They're basically unstoppable. 
that post ejaculate depression. It's basically when your brain starts to work again and realizes what the frick the dick just did. It's called post nut clarity. The greatest pleasures are only narrowly separated from disgust. Cicero. I was on a date with someone last week. First date since the pandemic kicked off. I guess it was dark in the bar. Because I was sharp as a tack that night. Engaged in great converse. Made her laugh. But as soon as we left. I saw the absolute stunning beauty of this woman. I forgot my name. Where my car was. And even how to talk. I don't think I formed a complete sentence after that until our date was over. I must know. Will there be a second date? That sounds so cute. And it seems like you two liked each other for what was said not just looks. When's the second date? What happened after? Smash though. That's really nice. Though. You should tell her about it. And see where it can go. All part of the learning process. I don't think of the weird ass things I'm thinking of to wank to. I was a college swimmer. Not even close to the best even in my group. But I was solid. Im tall with a long arm span. Large torso. Just a naturally gifted swimmer. And I was on Mexican supplements. I had like 8 beers or something on vacation in Gulf Shores with some friends. It was a storm that came. The water would be chest high and then drop to your ankles. A little girl got pulled out and I took off my shoes and shirt. Friends tried to hold me back. You will die if you go out there. I didn't care. I dove in and that was the last thing I remember. They say I made it super close back to the shore. Close enough where guys pulled us both in but all I remember is shoving this firefighter guy off me while choking and vomiting out water and trying to breathe. The girl she didn't make it. She wasn't able to be revived. Wonder if I didn't have those 8 beers. Heh. <laughs> Never mattered that I dove in. Hey. At least you tried. Even though she didn't make it, you at least gave her a chance at living. Marie's over leaving her out to sea. And if for nothing else the family had a body to bury. Sorry so deep, but I get it. How is this relevant? Wonder if I didn't have those 8 beers thank you for what you did. You did what you had to do. The worries of what I says they didn't happen. But they can hurt you in ways you hadn't thought of. One very positive point you may not have considered. You brought them their little girl back. And she was with people not alone. Dying. In the water. What does this have to do with getting a boner though dude? You went after a kid. Sometimes. Never stick your dick in crazy is easier said than done. That's why the rest of that phrase is more than once. Once is fine. Twice or more, and you risk waking up to her gently rubbing a goddamn steak knife along your shaft. Damn nigh impossible. Trouble is crazy fricks the best. That's why you should always have an extra flask of fresh blood with you. You never know when you need your brain. Or your ding dong. What is up with all these sexual questions in this sub? Power of the boner my friend. Lots of lonely. Horny people on this here internet. Bunk. Horny 12 year olds. The moderators really need to start banning these questions. Obsession with lust and intercourse often correlates to the downfall of civilization. Because the most vocal redditors are young men slash boys. Sex sells. It sells cars. Houses. Clothes and it also sells clicks. This thread is self-referential. Summer break. It'll subside a bit in the fall. Chelsea Handler sums up 2021 I guess. Vaccinated and horny tour. People are vaxxed and waxed and horny as hell these days. It's a perfect example answer to the question at hand. Freaking cringe. Go outside people. People are horny. It's the internet. Turns out people really like and are driven by intercourse. Awful lot of people awfully hard up who thought this month would be the month they'd end the dry spell. I was living in a house share with a couple of mates back in uni and my door was right next to the front door. While my mates were out my girlfriend came over and decided to surprise me with a sucky suck while I was gaming. A few minutes into it, we hear the keys in the front door and realized she had left my bedroom door wide open. In a sudden panic and a very blood deprived brain I picked up a textbook and hurled it at the door. My aim was in my mind the book would hit the door and close it. This did not happen it merely made a very loud bang. My girlfriend stops and stares at me like I'm a moron and my housemates come into my room to see what the noise was. This made me laugh. Misread it as my mate's GF decided to give me a BJ and the intensity was through the roof. While I finished reading, I feel like I've read this before. 
so I googled intercourse deaths eaten by a lion after romping in the wild in 2013. A Zimbabwean news website reported that a couple was attacked by a lion after having intercourse in nature. The big cat killed Sherry Mora after interrupting the couple, although her unidentified love managed to run away before he could be killed after notifying the police. The male lover, who escaped wearing only a condom, found the woman's mauled body at the scene of the attack. I shouldn't laugh at this, but imagine being a police officer and a guy runs up to you with literally nothing but a condom on. Also, I feel like this deserves a Darwin Award. The real life example of don't have to outrun the lion. Just have to outrun you. Now I think has wrong cuz I've been wanking, and I can hear my parents coming up the stairs, and I stop, and throw the blanket over me. I've been wanking, and I can hear my parents coming the aristocrats. So in this case, your mom is the hot woman you fantasize about, yet somehow resist? Hooking up with rando. No protection. Brain knows better. Willy Yarlow.